Hi guys, so right now I look like garbage, but we're gonna get ready. So yeah, I have very mediocre makeup skills, so don't be expecting some beauty guru shit from me, but I just thought it'd be fun to get ready with you guys. So let's do it. So what I'm going to start with is this e.l.f. primer. I know primer is like, people have like theories that you don't really need it for anything. I feel like it helps my makeup stick and I have like medium skin. Like it's not overly dry and not overly oily. So I feel like it works for me. But it's basically just like moisturizer. So I get why people don't want to waste their money on that. And then I'm going to use this Anastasia Stick Foundation. I like the Born This Way better. But it's like $40. Or something and this one's like $25 or something so I go with this but it's pretty good but anyways I'm not gonna just talk about the makeup this whole time I feel like that'd be pretty boring most people kind of already have their makeup shit figured out but I was gonna just talk about random shit that comes to my mind so we'll do that but um, the first thing I wanted to talk about was like college and high school and like the transition between those because I know a lot of people I know are transitioning currently from high school to college. And I know it's kind of a, like, what's the correct word? Like a fragile time in your life because you don't really know what to expect from college other than, like, what you've seen in movies. And trust me, after my first year of college, it's definitely nothing like movies. Especially for me because I didn't live, live on campus ever. I just got this apartment which I'm probably gonna do an apartment tour soon so keep an eye out for that but yeah especially because I never lived on campus I never lived like that dorm party life so it definitely was not like like all those movies you see where everybody in college is just getting crazy oh and I know some people are gonna hate that I like swipe this my like trash ass fake ass beauty blender but honestly I don't give a fuck so like, you can at me if you want, but it's not going to change my ways. But anyways, back to, like, high school and transitioning and shit. Like, I was so nervous for, like, my orientation day of college. I was like, wow, like, this is really going to, like, make or break me, right? No, it did not. Like, all we did in my orientation was, like, put classes in, like, our course cart and, like, put together some, like, shitty first semester schedules and then like had this like weird chicken lunch in the cafeteria like that's literally all it was and I don't know why I was so nervous but I literally dipped out halfway through orientation day because they weren't really doing anything else that mattered to me that much so I kind of left and yeah just did my own thing for the rest of the day so that was that but if you're currently like just graduated high school and are going to college soon, don't be super nervous for like orientation because that shit doesn't matter. You're only gonna really, well, I can't say this for everybody, but really you only make like friends once you start like classes or if you live in the dorms, I'm sure you make friends with your roommates and things like that. But orientation day for me was like not everything that I hyped it up to be. So don't be like me and be like overly stressed about it. But yeah, I hated high school, personally, just because I was really shy, and I feel like everybody in high school is just so loud all the time, like, I never shut the fuck up, and I hated high school because of that, and just because I felt like everybody was really fake, and I was kind of scared that college was just gonna be, like, an extension of that, you know? But it really hasn't been just because college is people who want to be there learning, and especially if you're taking classes related to your major, that's good. Talking to people who have the same interests as you do and who like actually want to be going to school for that and they enjoy class and the assignments and talking to other people about it. So that's really cool. I enjoyed that aspect of college a lot. Kind of vibing with your peers about stuff you're both interested in. So that's great. Um, other than that, just professors are way cooler than high school teachers, at least for the most part. I mean, there's definitely going to be more homework and shit, that's for sure. But it's at least work that 
I usually don't even mind doing that much because it's related to stuff I enjoy unless it's for like I don't know like a science class or something I'm not a science major so yeah or math I just finished last semester uh, the only math class I have to take for college because I took two now so that was the last one and I passed with the grade I needed to pass with so I don't have to take math anymore which is really fucking a plus because I hate math so much but anyways transitioning to college for me was actually way easier than I thought it was gonna be I kinda just started to show up and do my shit and it worked for me doing that I haven't made like a ton of friends in college just because I'm kind of the kind kind of the kind of I'm the kind of person who kind of stays to myself and just does my work but I have met a lot of cool like acquaintances in things and then just kind of stuck with my regular friends that I keep around me at all times so that's been pretty cool I wish like I could vibe with people more, but I don't know, college is in the kind of environment where you're kind of asking people to chill all the time, if you know what I mean. You're kind of just there to, like, get your work done and leave. And I know people are going to roast me for my eyebrows. I don't really care about that either. I kind of just do them how I want until I'm happy with it, and that's the end of that. I'm not the kind of bitch who spends like three hours on her eyebrows every day. A bitch just doesn't have time for that whatsoever. I do not have the time or the energy to spend on my eyebrows every single day of my life. Like, sometimes I'll spend a little bit of extra time on those bitches, but today is not that day. I'm just gonna kinda slap some shit on here and call it good. As far as the bake on my face goes, I usually just keep it on until I'm done with my eyebrows. Otherwise, it'll dry my skin out way too much. So, key fact about my makeup routine for you. And look at this. This is so sad. I've had this Anastasia brow shit for, like, probably close to a year now. And I'm just, like, too lazy to go to the mall and buy more. I wish they just sold it at, like, Walgreens or something. Do they sell Anastasia at... Walgreens? I know they sell like NYX and shit, but I feel like NYX is more likely to be sold at like a drugstore. I think they sell that shit at like Walmart, if I'm correct. So, yeah, I don't think you can get like Anastasia and shit. Because I have a Walgreens right by my house, so that would be pretty nice if I could just walk up there. Not walk, drive. <laughs> I'm too lazy to like walk my ass up there. It's like two miles from here. I'm not about that life. But anyways, it'd be nice to just like skirt my car up there and pick up this shit instead of having to drive in a town because I live in like the like 10 minutes away from where like I go to school and work and it's like in a different town that you have to drive on the highway so I don't really feel like venturing out of my like cave and going to buy this shit so I'm just gonna keep scraping the bottom of the barrel and hope that that is good enough you know what I mean so we'll just keep doing that and I also just use my fingers if I don't like how shit looks, so there that that's another tip for you. But I'm gonna wipe this off for it doesn't overly dry out my face. Um, but continuing on with the college talk, the thing that really surprised me the most about my school was just um, how expensive textbooks are. I know that's not really surprising, pretty much everybody knows that textbooks are expensive but I didn't realize like some books will be cheap and you can like rent them even so you don't even have to pay for that shit but some books it's like this tiny ass pamphlet and it's like oh a hundred and fifty dollars for this bitch and I'm like really do I need it that bad or can I just like find the pdf online because I'm not trying to like shell out that much fucking money for a little pamphlet you know what I mean but other than that like, speaking of books, the bookstore on the day that class starts, oh my god. Do not wait till the day of class starts to get your books, if anything, because the line is horrendously long. I usually do that just because I procrastinate, and the professor will sometimes tell you that you don't actually need shit till, like, the day of, so I try not to buy it before, just because I don't want to waste my money. But, yeah, if you're gonna wait till the professor tells you shit I would probably go on like the second day if you can or maybe even like the third day because the first day of college 
everybody's going to be up in the bookstore trying to get their books. So, yeah, I would keep an eye out for that. But as far as my eyeshadow look today goes, I don't know if anybody cares. I don't really even care. But I've been doing a lot of yellowy, orangey things with my eyeshadow this summer. And it goes good with this, like, orange and yellow beetle shirt. So I'm just going to use the peach... What is it called? Sweet Peach Palette from Too Faced to kind of like carve out some shit and then I'm going to use the Jaclyn Hill Palette and use that like macaroni color because it's like my favorite color from that palette. So I'm going to do that really quick and try not to fuck it up too bad. So I kind of just like slap this shit on and then blend it out to like tell it doesn't look like shit basically. I told y'all I'm not a makeup artist, I'm not a beauty guru, this is just kind of how I do my makeup every day. But I thought it'd be fun to like sit here and do it and talk about random shit, so that's what we're doing. I definitely enjoy college a lot more than high school, but that's about all I really have to say on that topic other than I'm excited to go back to school this year. I have a lot more classes that are actually related to my majors this year instead of just failing random requirements, so I'm excited for that. So, if you're going to college and you're kind of depressed about your first semester classes not being all that you had hoped they would be, that's just kind of because you have to fill requirements, and then once you get further on into your college career, you can start really focusing on what you want to focus on, and it becomes a lot better. So, I would just hold out for that. I wouldn't just drop college because you don't like your first semester classes. I mean, I don't know how many people would actually do that, but I would not I would not consider that as an option. I would just stick it out. But other than that, let's talk about a new topic because I'm kind of that's all I really have to say about college. I don't have a lot to say on the subject. Hmm. Well, I know a lot of people in the age group that I'm in. I'm 19 are really struggling to get by money-wise unless you have like rich parents who are like funneling you that shit you know what I mean but um I guess I can talk about how I make my money not super in depth but I have a side job or two that really helps supplement my income and help me afford an apartment at 19 and or that could help you move out of your parents house at the age that I am because I know some people are not down to stay with their parents forever but how I make my money is I have a regular ass, regular ass day job, which I'm not going to go into. It doesn't really matter what I do. But I have a day job, right? And I work there probably 25 hours a week, whatever. And that's how I make the majority of my money. Otherwise, I do walk and watch um, dogs as well. So I can make a couple hundred dollars off that a week if I want to. I typically make probably $400 a month watching and walking dogs on this app called Rover, so I can link that in the description. It's a really good way to make some side money, especially if you love dogs. It doesn't even feel like work. So you can do that. Okay, so I fucking fucked this up, but anyways. Um, so other than dog walking, what I do to make extra money is I sell clothes on Depop. Uh, I haven't actually sold anything on there in a while, but I only have like two things posted. I definitely don't think it's as good a way to make side money, just because you have to pay for like shipping of the clothes and that can kind of come out to a lot more than you expect, so you don't make like a whole lot on profit unless you're like overcharging the shit out of people, which I don't know, it's kind of fucked up, so yeah, Depop 2 selling your old shit is a good way to make some side money but it's definitely not as lucrative and a full time of a not as a full time of a side hustle as walking dogs is so i would definitely suggest trying rover if you like dogs and yeah so i would try that wow okay Let's see. See, I do eyeliner like every day and I still fuck it up. So, if you're new at makeup and you like feel like shit, don't worry because it doesn't get better. It just doesn't. But, um, <laughs> that's not helpful. Yeah, it gets better, but I still fuck up from time to time. So, there's that. Yeah, that's how I make side money pretty much. 
Rover, and Depop. And that really helps supplement my bitch ass income. So that's good. I would try both of those if you're needing side money. But honestly, side hustles are like something I really enjoy doing. But it's not like I'm going to quit my day job, you know, to pursue that shit. Because you never know if that's going to fall through or whatever. Now I'm kind of packing some black eyeshadow on here. Just because my eyeliner is like needing help today. But yeah, I hope that looks better. Whatever, I'm kind of over it. And then the only lipsticks I use are like these three colors from NYX. And they're all basically like the same color. I'm going to use 04 from the Soft Matte Lip Cream. It's like all, it's all, all gone. Because I use this like every day, but whatever. I'm going to try to put some of this on. Mm hmm It smells really fucking good. That's good enough for me. I don't care that much. Again, like I said like a million times, this makeup is going to be mediocre. Because I'm a mediocre person. But, especially at makeup. Especially. Oh shit, I got some eyeliner up here. I'm gonna do this. Cover that up real professional like. Ooh, okay. Mm -hmm. Fire. And then the last thing that I'm gonna do, I'm not gonna contour today. I do some days. I'm just too lazy right now and I'm just going to work later so I, I don't give enough of a shit. But I'm gonna put some blush on. It's just some old Elizabeth Arden. That's what it's called. I don't know. I think my grandma literally gave this to me. But I kind of put it on my cheeks and a little bit over my nose for like a rosy little glow. And that's pretty much all I do for my makeup every day. I'm going to go ahead and put some of this on. All around me are familiar faces. We love a wet sister. See, I used to pull the whole James Charles thing with this and I felt so fancy. But look. It's fucking broken. It's fucking broken, so this is like the extent to that that I can do, unfortunately. But, yeah. Alright guys, thank you so much for sitting through my shitty makeup routine and listening to me ramble about shit. Uh, it was kind of fun for me to do my makeup and just ramble, so again, thank you. But leave a like if you like the video, leave a comment for what I should do next, and subscribe for more. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Bye.